Good evening, my friends. I remain at World War's room. This evening, we are looking at the, sec the second phase of estimating an arch uh, model. In the previous phase, I tested the presence or estimated uh, an ordinary arch PQ model where we identify the presence of an arch effect in the model. And we also tested uh, the presence of volatility clustering in the model. We plotted the volatility graph and now understood that there is a volatility clustering in the spot price rate uh, model. So the next thing to be done is to estimate an arch model. And to estimate an arch model, we go to quick, you go to quick, you go to equation. Uh, estimate or estimate equation you click the bar the button you now specify your arch model recall that we are dealing with the sports price rate and we specify the sports price rate and uh, it's uh, one period lags value you come to the method you change the method from late square estimate to arch which is auto regressive conditional heteroskedasticity at this uh, other level, you untick dash one to zero, then you leave the threshold at zero. We allow our error construct to remain as normal Gaussian. Our estimation process changed to auto regressive conditional heteroskedasticity. Our sample size remain uh, within 2016 month one to 2022 month three. And we will hit the OK button without changing any other part of it. At this level, we are exposed to a result that looks like this. Let me copy it neatly to a Microsoft Word where it will be more visible for us to look at it collectively. Then this is my arch result. This is my arch result. The dependent variable is post price rate. The method used is ML arch normal distribution. Then we had uh, 73 observations after adjustment. Initially, we had 75. The convergence achieved after 19 iteration. And we have two results. We have two outputs in the ASH model. We have the mean equation and the variance equation. The mean equation is the first equation at the top, which is the mean equation. I color code it yellow. The virus equation is the second equation under the mean equation. I want to color code it red for easy identification. In this mean equation is actually the autoregressive equation, while this virus equation is the heteroskedasticity equation, the output that is gotten from the second equation we specified when we presented the models the ash model uh, the arch specifications so in this first equation we have uh, the constants of the mean variable that is not significant we have uh, the sports price the lag value of the sports price that is significant at five out of ten percent then uh, we have c c3 which is the constants of the variance equation is uh, statistically significant while the ash term which is the residual of the error time is statistically significant. So what this means is that the hash time is very close to to one. Since the hash time is close to one, we will not say that the shock to sports price rate is persistent and uh, it seems not to decay easily given the fact that the hash time is actually close to to one. So this is what we can say for this at the moment and this is what we can infer from the arch result the arch result is a linear model linear in the sense that it do not have an asymmetric term it cannot also explain the volatility uh, of uh, the sports price in nigeria within the period so given this limitation that the arch equation is unlike or resembled or had 
a similar characteristics of a moving average and does not have all it takes to explain the leverage impact of the spot prices in Nigeria over the period under review, it is expected that we will proceed to estimate a more uh, complicated and more robust model that we capture the volatility and the leverages of the sports prices in Nigeria and that will lead us to into that, that will introduce us to the to the gash model t gash model and e gash model so stay tuned to my channel as we progress together to estimate the gash model in the next uh, video thank you and god bless you